Welcome to the first hour of Once Human. The start, as you can see, is pretty much epic with the music. I mean, I've had this experience before with Path of Exile. Epic music in the beginning. Everything went well there. I love the game. I hope I love this game. You can see this is like a futuristic world. And this image reminds me of Elfen Lied. Is that? Let's just press any key to enter. Okie dokie, new cosmetics. So it's got battle pass and stuff. It's a free game. You're bound to have some passes and cosmetics and things. This is the latest news. Oh my God, you guys can't see everything. I have an ultra wide monitor. There, there is a way to solve this. Do -do 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 so if you want to stream the game and you have an ultra wide monitor you can't play it on the ultra wide monitor i'm gonna change monitors it's gonna be a whole new side of me you're gonna see this side welcome to the first hour of once human i'm gonna confirm and i'm gonna say confirm for this and just enter game and if it's overcrowded and we have to sit together, like in awkwardness, us flies to wanton boys are we to the gods, they kill us for their sport. Okay, so the gods are ruthless. Our lives have followed a long path. But eventually, all roads reach their end. Each breath. Our world is broken, stagnant, fallen into the abyss. The stranger but everything things is born from darkness, even the universe itself. Now, do you see it? A glimmer within the void. The spark of life still burns, and evolution forges a new way forward. Hello? Once your faith overcomes despair, once you move beyond death. Once life returns to this world. Epicness abounds. We'll meet beyond that path. Stranger things, even the upside down thing. Hmm. I mean, I'm not accusing the developers of anything. It's just the vibe, man. It's like Stranger Things vibes. Uh, probably not in the game, but... At the moment. Okay, we have type 1, type 2. Ooh, type 2s are nice. Woman and man <laughs> would be the types. And uh, although it's tempting to make like a cool guy, I'm gonna go with the girl. Because I do like the way uh, they look and the posture, I mean the way their body is posed, kind of suggests uh, good animations with uh, the women. So we're gonna go with the woman. I'm, I don't know what to name her. I mean, Nimdi is my go-to name. Could this be my go-to name for females also? This is the biggest question. Um, let's look at the face more closely. This is the hairline. Can I... This is a very important thing. Uh, I think then we'll get to see what the heck this does. Either I look like an alien or... Like an intellectual woman. 
temples. Why is this so important? I mean, I am all for details, but the angle of your temple, like the, this thing here, I, I don't even notice that like in real people when I meet them. I'm like, hmm, human shape. That's enough. What is this? The cheekbones. I feel like I'll turn her into an alien if I try to adjust this. I mean, I do like a bit of a cheekbone and some tilt. And what's a recession? Oh, that. We are in a recession. But the cheekbone recession is something new for me. What's... Oh, see, alien. Alien! I told you I would make her look like an alien. That's horrible. Okay, I, I kind of unbroke her, so I'll just leave it like that. Oh, the cheek now. We'll leave it like that. <laughs> the chin. No, she's fine. <laughs> I mean, I do appreciate the details you can go into when making her face. It looks like a person <laughs> I play with. The new Nimdi. She's got a jawline. I think it's fine. She looks like a woman. We can move forward to wave. Oh my god. Be sure. Uh, some more brow. What's a recession in the brow? Why is so much recession? Oh, tilt. Tilt of evil. Haha. Uh -huh. The frowny face. Not so frowny. Surprised face. I'm starting to get the hang of uh, of this. <laughs> oh my god. That was just a bone of the brow. We can now um, focus on the brow itself. Tail size. Oh my god. That's like distorting the bone. See? That, that distorts the bro bone. Yeah, she's a Neanderthal now. This game is too complicated for me. I mean, she's fine. She looks fine. Oh my god. Maybe... <laughs> maybe don't play with the controls at all. Maybe don't do that. How big? Oh. I mean, if you want to, you could make her like that. And she's really distinct. <laughs> alien. As I said, I'm gonna make her look like an alien. <laughs> There's too much detail here, it's to be appreciated, but I'm overwhelmed and I don't, I don't. Hair color. But you can have highlights. Which is kind of fun. I mean, I can have her like this. Right? I don't know why she would be a blonde, but... There you go. They're not gonna give you too many options because, you know, the, they have skins and outfits to sell to you, so it's fine. Okay, so that's the gradient area for the hair. Very important. So the hair is essential for combat, apparently. Hair tied. Light. Ooh. I'm sitting on stuff. Wait. Hair down, hair tied. Eh? Oh, that's like short hair. How is it tied? Okay, these are her eyes. Oh, we can make her like otherworldly person. And this is like sick person look. And this is transforming person look. And this is a beautiful person look. And this is another beautiful but creepy person. A beautiful person. Original. This is the original. Intensity. Intensity of what? Oh. Well, this kind of looks like she's uh, a creature unlike others. A bit magical and I don't know. I'll just to go with this. She can be middle of the road uh, woman. What's with the abdominal size? Is that significant? This is always significant, right? Uh, middle of the road. It's fine. <laughs> Maybe a bit on the big side, because, you know, I'm trying to compensate like uh, anyone would. And this is like the muscle? No. Oh, this is 
large, not really chest, but uh, shoulders too. So you can actually make her into a Yakuza if you paint her all around with the uh, things, right? Oh no, it's the same arm it affects? Well then what's the point? She's just a girl. Just a girl with normal arms and legs, hopefully. I don't know. That's why I didn't modify them. She was almost an alien. Click to enter name. Huh. Um, indeed, it works for a girl also, so... <laughs> My creativity is spiking. Nitrogen, negative 195.79 Celsius. Physical movement or brain function not detected. Subject status stable. Dagger still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Security breach. Security breach! <laughs> And we're back. And uh, I okay. Apparently, I can do that. Uh, so as, as you've seen, the cutscene didn't do any good to my camera, and um, it made things kind of difficult. <laughs> but the Rosetta researcher is dead, so uh, we need to figure out what's going on. Emergency med kit. I will claim all, because I'm a hoarder. You won't last long if you ignore your stamina, sanity, hydration, energy, and HP. Consume food and drink to increase your energy and hydration. It's a good idea to keep something. I didn't get to read. Open the backpack to check recently obtained food. Inventory. Uh, do I need the stamina thingy? Hydration. Uh, boiled water. But we can consume that later. I mean, the hoarder in me is also the sort to kind of keep things until, you know, she dies with food and water in her inventory. So uh, what are we doing here? This is like a medical facility. I had no brain activity and then suddenly I had brain. It feels like real life for me. In the morning, I have no brain activity, and then suddenly, brain. You know, X code for Chrono Cage experiment area must be changed daily. Update the code after completing today's experiment plan. Sure. Uh, do I need to investigate? No. Securement memo. Okay. So, V. Melee attack. Roll. It's a bit weird. What's a function wheel? Function wheel unlocks when something happens. Okay. So I cannot use the function wheel yet. Okie dokie. There is an objective there. This kind of reminds me of Warframe. I mean, I'm full of references <laughs> this video. Stranger Things, Warframe, Alpha and Lead. But, um, yeah, input password. 
Oh, right. The thing on the table that I don't remember because I did not read exactly the part where it says... Um, just a second. Today's code for D23 Experiment Day is 0728. The code has been updated and confirmed by the supervisor. That's exactly the sentence I didn't read. Oh my god. So 0728. We're gonna get out of here. 0728. That's my brain trying to function, guys. 072 0728 <gasps> Perfect. The brain has functioned. Hello. I swear I'm a functioning brain. Just trying to figure out. Oh, I need an access card. I bet this guy has an access card. Yeah, and I got the sanity something. <sighs> An intact cradle was recovered near subject me. I think A073 is me. With a design and manufacture consistent with those used by the mayflies. Energy, rest energy stored within the cradle shows unusual signs of activity and seems to become more volatile when near subject me. The cradle has been placed in a separate room for safekeeping until more research, so I have to grab that to open my uh, function wheel. I need to grab the cradle. Using... Let's grab a cradle. Oh. Is that me? Yeah. That's the cradle. And that's me. Is my camera glitching? No, it's fine. Camera is fine. The tension is killing me. So I became the vision I saw. Or, but you, I don't know. I have the cradle. I guess they did that the entire cutscene, so they don't have to animate the character putting on the backpack. I think that's what's happening there. V. V? Like in murder drones? V? <laughs> Full of references, as I said. Talk to this strange bird. Talk. Well, it's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own. Oh, I have to click? <laughs> no, I have to. And you're a metahuman too. Okay, I, I forget. It's not the clicking, it's the space. But I always forget to initiate. Uh, what's a metahuman? I forget to initiate conversations or to do whatever I have to do to get to the next line. The tension is killing you guys, isn't it? But I wanted to see if the bird had a brain. Since it does. You know who I am? What did you just call me a metahuman? What did I you don't just know who no. you are, But I know what you are. Okay. You awakened the cradle. And that's something only a metahuman could do. No. What's a cradle though? I mean you make it sound like I'm epic because I awakened the cradle. Memory. Do you remember who you are? Depends if I have a brain, doesn't it? <laughs> no, I don't remember. Uh, what happened? It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. It could have robbed you of your memories. Okay, so I think it gives me kind of the same information and answers no matter what I pick. You can call me V. It seems that our interests are aligned, MetaHuman. Hello, V. Why did you come here, but you're a talking bird? Where are we? This place seems kind of dangerous. Why did you come here? Why did you come here? I came to secure a deviation. A paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. What's a paper butterfly? What's a deviation? Are we doing math? Is that what's happening? My brain can't handle that, dude. Right now, though, we need to move. 
I can show you the way out of this place. Okie dokie. But okay. only if you help me complete my mission first. All okay. Right? Okay. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's find the All butterfly. All you have to do is listen to what I tell you. Oh, I'm really bad at that. Do, do we go in? Is that like a portal? Hello? Uh, what is this? Weapon crate. Oh, claim all. Uh, it's shown here. Okay, the weapon. Uh, if this lot is empty, you have no weapon. Aha! Perfect. And what is this? <laughs> the running to do stuff. Running in place to go around an object. So it's the same place but it's like in another dimension the same place and what is this what are you are you a flashlight this is a life form that has been infected with stardust it's called a deviant okay our world a has been watcher. overrun with deviants ever since starfall ordinary humans can't take high levels of stardust exposure okay when they do they end up just like that thing. But you're a metahuman. You should be fine. In fact, if the conditions are right, you might even be able to use Stardust to your advantage. Okay. Use space time to scan the surrounding area. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. Does her hand just jump? No, it. Eh. I'm looking at the animation, guys. It's part of my job. Her hand is not... I mean, it goes down, like, mechanically, very fast, very badly. I just had to do that. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't know what Q is doing. Shabby fabric, rustic hat. Okay, I got the hat. Oh, and you get to see it. I mean, it's normal to get to see it. View gear details in gear backpack, it's fine. Uh, what does this do? Oh, it shows me stuff there, stuff everywhere, okay. It highlights if there is anything of interest. That's not a... That's just a weird light, making something look white. Okay, uh, let's kill this. Oh, did I get hit? Maybe. I got flat bread. I should keep an eye on my stats, but I think I'm okay for now. Weapon, Molotov cocktail. Yes, come to me. Come to A073. I, I don't, I'm pretty sure that's not, you know, the correct sequence, but... Uh, Okay, you get to feel pretty overpowered. It, these are not a challenge, but I think these are just for getting used to basics. Uh, what's this? Reading notes. Notes can be found scattered all over this world. Read them to learn more about the past. Read notes. Read. <laughs> Red notes will be stored in field guide. So we can learn about the past. This is a priority alpha search research operation. Any findings related to it or Project Butterfly? You guys can't really see when I read that. I don't know where to be. There. Now you can read it too. Because my reading is... Any personnel who violates... Who viola violate its confidentiality will be subject to termination. So, Project Butterfly must be directly reported to somebody. Okay. Trying to escape. Trying to escape again. I pressed F. What's with the... that I cannot go there? Is that why it's red? So, this is a way to kind of guide you through the base, I think. Kind of weird, but sure. 
Um, I'll just go kill that and then... Hello. Bam. Deviation. Urgent report. Deviation of unknown level detected in the research area. Deviation appears to consist of multiple floating butterflies. Isolation compartments may be comp compromised. Requesting emergency measures. Okay. Did I just lose my uh, loot because I decided to investigate first? Never again, guys. Never again. Always loot first and then investigate or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna use some food, some water. Um, F? I just needed to be more precise in my pressing of the button. And then food. Ah, okay. Sanity gummy. I'm, I'm pretty sane. I think I'm fine. It's just the thirst, I think, that will get me. Um, let's see. There was uh, a thingy here. So always loot before before what's this med kit perfect more water i think uh, this is uh the butterfly after image touch is my camera okay <laughs> just returning to something i don't know so i think i entered yeah, these are the butterflies made of paper. I entered that zone, basically, by touching the image. Uh, spatial fluctuations often cause anomalies in time, allowing past scenes to be witnessed once again. Activate space-time to locate spatial theaters, where events and people from the past may reappear, potentially revealing hidden truths. I kind of like that mechanic. It, it makes things interesting. And this has Alpha Lead vibes. Activate. Yes, I will activate here. DBT-011. My name is Victor Hammett. What's your name? I don't know. All I know is that I'm a monster. My mother, my father, and everyone else. It was all my fault. Hey, hey. Try and stay calm. I'm here. And I will do everything to help. It's no use. No one can help me. It would be better for everyone if I just... Just leave me alone. Please. Don't waste your time on me. I'm afraid I can't do that. And you're not a monster. In fact, you're very, very special. You just need to learn how to control your power. Once you do that, you can help fix this broken world. We can do that together. Okay. So as I said, Elfon Lead. Lead. Elfon Lead vibes. Um, I have to do that for every spot. The butterfly. It's flying! Yes! Your first deviation. And look how gentle it is. I remember my name now. It's Mitsuko. It means child of light. It's my first creation. I will create more. Okay, are we sure this is not... Oh, uh, Elfo need. <laughs> I have an obsession, apparently. It's fine. I just, uh, I was reconsidering watching, I was considering re-watching that anime, so. Metal scraps, materials, maybe you can craft stuff, I mean, it, 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 it's a survival game, you should be able to craft some stuff. Or at least upgrade what you have. Again, last one. We need something powerful to challenge the evolutionists. And I think I finally found it. 
You. Hey, we can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path and bring about true evolution. This will be the Mayfly's mission. This is why we'll fight. Mayflies? That's right. Mayflies. Small, yet invincible. Humanity may seem puny now, but we'll prove we can endure. Wait, wasn't I a mayfly thingy person? Wasn't I? Oh, I can use the function summon. Should I summon the f thing? Hmm. I, I summoned it for no reason. And what is this? Yay. More water. Okie dokie. Can I open the door? No. Opening doors is too complicated for my brain. My brain doesn't work that way, guys. It's fine. We don't open doors. Doors open us. Creepy. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Is that like a tongue? That's a tongue. Anima Deviants will do drop anima weapons when defeated. Use something. Telekinesis, fry, throw, discard. Don't, can I? Yeah, I can. Oh, let's... Let's... Let's fire there. Oh, nice. Nice. This is actually kind of a, an OP mechanic. OP mechanic incoming. Oh my god, the, the incoming monster. Is he coming here or just playing hard to get? Yeah. Just playing hard to get. So this is basically showing you how to cheat. <laughs> it's fine. And I can also like melee attack. Well, I, I need the target. It's fine. I wanted to see how it looks, but also, you know, I have to loot this. And if I go down there, maybe I cannot loot this. So discard. And loot my baby. Loot. Gloves. Perfect. Maybe I'll find some pants eventually. But it's fine. We have a cap. Can I open this door? No. I don't think there is any door in this world that I can open. Which is kind of funny. Ta-da! Deviation. We found it. Reach out your left hand and see if you can feel the rhythm of it. Then oh. try and secure it. Is it a dance deviation because I need to feel the rhythm of it? I, I don't know. Hello? Can I tip to you? No, I can only touch her. So I cannot talk to her. Oh, I can see her. Epic. Oh my god, that's actually nice. I, I'm a sucker for epic moments in games. And if you give me like that, <laughs> an epic melody, a woman floating, nice visuals, I'm sold. I mean, I don't need an explanation. I can make up my own. It's fine. So I have left something, a territory. I have entered the territory. Is this like a player's territory? Hello? I don't think so. It's got two names. Isolated securement unit. Use facility, attach wire. No idea what that is. Sounds complicated. Victor Hammett's diary. 
After some trial and error, I finally managed to add a working containment function to the Cradle. It should prove quite useful. We'll have to make use of as many deviations as we can if we want to beat Rosetta. Wait. I was in a Rosetta facility. This guy's... <laughs> This guy is part of a faction that wants to beat Rosetta and I was in a Rosetta facility. Maybe I was with the bad guys and this guy is the good guy or maybe he's the good guy or the bad guy and I am the good guy or I'm the bad guy and everything is confusing. Maybe. Just talk to her. V, you made it back. You're still alive. I am V? Yes, and look what I oh, found. no. A meta. Only just woken up. Hi. I don't know my name. <laughs> I would introduce myself, but I don't know who I am. It's fine. Th this is weird. Hi. It's kind of they embarrassing. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank yes. you, that human. Your help means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a metahuman as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. Mitsuko is a very special meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the Stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. This paper butterfly is the deviation you were looking for. So we all used to be Rosetta test subjects. What's the star for you mentioned earlier? I have so many questions. Like literally, I have so many questions. More than three, actually. <laughs> so we all used to be Rosetta That's test subjects. That's what Rosetta does. At first, they just locked deviations away. But then they figured out that deviations could be harnessed to make humans stronger. That's when they commenced their experiments, in the name of human progress. As a result, they created metahumans, like me and you, to Rosetta. We are the future. It is our potential to harness stardust that they value above everything else. It's all they care about. And what the heck is V? And they're not wrong. Metahumans are mankind's last hope. We were created by Rosetta, but we don't take orders from them anymore. We left. We call ourselves the Mayflies now, and we do things differently. Um, oh, I, it's the same question. So this paper, butterfly yes. thing. The butterfly is an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it and ensure its safety. Okay. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. Okay. So, interact with the securement unit and select the deviation to secure. Um, oh, I have it. It's on me. It's in my backpack. <laughs> okay, deposit. The butterfly is recovered. Nice. I think it likes you. Deviant power. Is this spell world? <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Full of references. Remember? Okay. Uh, I think next we have to talk to her. The music has gotten a bit eerie uh, can I check out upstairs oh there's another thing here too his diary entries are so short our use of guerrilla tactics tactics has delivered significant military success so far but I'm afraid it's not enough Rosetta is clearly planning something big if the mayflies which is us uh-huh <laughs> limit ourselves to strikes on minor tar targets will never be able to stop them okay so uh, i don't know why she drew her sword what's up here hmm? i'm afraid that if i talk to her 
um, I will um, be sent somewhere else because uh, I don't feel like I have control yet of how things work. And I do want to get all the diary entries. Received a disturbing report that Rosetta is developing some kind of secret new Silver Gate technology. What does what it tell? The Water Gate now? Apparently reopening the monoliths on the island and activating the Silver Gates wasn't enough for them. If true, this could prove catastrophic. Did they really learn nothing from Starfall? So they were kind of responsible for Starfall as well? Okay, makes sense. Oh, she keeps drawing her weapon. Okay, hello. Beautiful view. Oh, looking nice. I mean, for a free game, it's uh, an interesting experience. Reminds me of Warframe as well. I did mention that, but um, there is this... Uh, Warframe that kind of came out not recently but the latest one where you have a story to play um, and you're on a planet it's more like this type of experience never mind just ranting here okie dokie this is an odd thing to have in your house. Just the platform for throwing yourself. Or for practicing jumping. What is that? Well, what is that? What is that? Resource gathering. Okay. We get to resource gather. Perfect. Is there like a night and day cycle? It seems to be. I feel like the light has changed. Will the sun go down? I'm just wondering how much of this is a survival game and how much like a PvE experience. Um, with story and objectives and stuff. Can I just gather a rock? Just a rock. Gathering rock with another rock. Don't I have tools or something? Can I make tools or something? There's just one important question. Do zombies come out at night? Is this that type of game? It does seem like the sun is setting. That's why I'm all... Panicky. Can I get water? Collect dirty water. Collect dirty. I don't stop. I collect unlimited dirty water. A hundred. A hundred and twenty. Perfect. I, I don't know. So, what can I do here? What can I do? What is to be done? Can I search? No. Just talk to her. Play the piano. Can I play the piano? I can play the piano. Perfect piano playing. Uh, let's play some more piano. What is this? Okay, more keys. Okay, this is just for books. But I think I can, yeah, I can do that. And then that. So you can lower the pitch, raise the pitch, and this is like the middle ground. Okay. Let's try to incorporate some flats and sharps because that's 
what they are. I don't know which is which, but... Uh... Okay, we can actually play the piano. So if I play the keyboard, if I play the piano, I mean properly, do I get something in return? I can cook. <gasps> I can craft. This is perfect because, you know, I was afraid of going thirsty forever. Okay, so this is kind of half survival. That, that's it. I can't do it anymore. No, okay. It's, and, and it takes a while until it crafts. Oh, okay. But it's completed. Click on them to take them. That's kind of... <laughs> unnecessarily dumb. <laughs> I, I mean, you should take them automatically, but uh, it's fine. So we don't have any more lumber. That's what we're missing. Oh, and here I thought we were um, being greedy with the lumber. Uh, how do I drink like this? It's selected drink, drink, drink. No. Come and drink. Damn you. Drink. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need anything more. At the moment. Players at level 10. What? Players in a normal state PV cannot attack others, nor can they take damage from defensive installations in other players' territories. We are fine. Let's go talk to her. Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. And this is why we created the Mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. Okie dokie. Makes sense. We're finding ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. This is our best chance of cleaning up Rosetta's mess. The Mayflies. Not a very flattering name. Ah. So what exactly do... No one's exactly sure what they are. Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension. Something we call rift space. So this is what deviations are? When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. We believe that's what caused Starfall. Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly. But others... Like the ones inside monoliths are extremely it's not practical to secure dangerous. All of them. But if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. Okay. So their goal is to secure deviations. Because deviations can be dangerous. You must be prepared. The stardust just keeps spreading. And we aren't sure why. What's a siren? Shit, we must have gotten through. Really? You look like an awesome otherworldly raven and you say, shit, it must have gotten through. Shit, really? I'm okay. Fine. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space and it won't go down without a fight. Take cool. the butterfly with you. It can oh. help. Okay. What's this? Oh, supply. Sure, shabby fabric. Uh, 
um, withdraw. I got the butterfly. Ooh, more, more supplies. I'm all for it. Ooh, a jacket and arrows. Well, why do? What do I do with arrows? I don't have a bow. Sure, I'm gonna close the door. Oh no, I actually have to go inside and. What's this? Synchronize butterflies emissary to cradle interact with that to let it Oh sorry. So I actually have to put this back. Use facility I guess. Your current deviations basic stats are displayed in the top. Deviations will slowly recover divine power. Uh, when it falls to zero, deviation will become dormant. The better deviation smooth, the more it has, I guess. Auto attack, sync to cradle. Designated target. Designate a target to attack with butterflies. Emissary targets in the direction you are facing will be prioritized. If there are no targets in the direction you are facing, surrounding enemies will be targeted. Sync. Combat deviations are a special type of deviation that, while aggressive, will take instructions from metahumans once secured. Different combat deviations have different abilities. Make sure to choose a combat deviation whose abilities will suit your needs for a given task. Is this like your skills? <laughs> are deviations basically skills you collect? I mean, it's kind of cool. Don't get me wrong. It's a cool concept. Control deviations carry. Dorm dormancy threshold of a combat deviation cannot be adjusted and defaults to 100. When divine power is fully recovered, the, the deviation can be synced to your cradle via the synchronized button handling. After syncing a combat deviation to your cradle, you can summon it to attack or recover it to cradle using the function wheel. Oh man, okay. So, so far, uh, this is less a survival experience and more like an action y type of game. I think it's not the sort of experience you'd expect from a survival game. That's what I'm trying to say in so many words. Equip a gathering tool before you start collecting resources and here I was just using rock. It's much faster than doing it barehanded. You can craft gathering tools at your campsite or a supplies workbench. The more advanced the tool, the more quickly you'll be able to harvest resources. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. So how do I? Right? Hmm? Do I just do that? Use a pickaxe. Rock. Oh, I can use the pickaxe to gather logs as well. Like um, here. Uh, I need gravel. Ten more. So I need more... Um, it's actually showing me where to find the rock. I think there. Find a suitable location and press T to set up camp. Okay, can I just go explore a bit around here? Wasn't I going to a boss fight? And what's a suitable location? What's suitable? Uh, don't I get to live in that awesome house? Do I need to set up a camp? Okay, I'll set up a camp here, I think. Here. Craft with bare hands in capsites to craft basic gear, tools and dishes. This will help you survive better in the wilderness. 
Okay, I was just saying that, that the experience of this game is more like action and PvE focused, not so much like survival vibe, but now I get uh, survival stuff to do, so. Craft a rustic crossbow. Oh, that's why I got arrows. <laughs> craft with bare hands. I'm gonna craft a... but the, where is that? Select the weapon crafting tab. <laughs> it was showing it to me. Rustic crossbow. Sure. Craft it. Do I need to craft some more stuff? Pants, maybe? <laughs> I think I need pants. Raw height, I don't have that. Okay. Didn't I craft it? I had to hold it. <laughs> hold the button. Okay. Equip a secondary weapon. Sure. Yeah, it's equipped. Oh, let's just crack down attacking defense. But I had more stuff to do here at the, the, the camp. Can I make pants? No. <laughs> I, had, I have issues. I want pants. <laughs> I'm in my underwear, man. Uh, didn't I just loot Did something that looked like a chest piece armor? Backpack gear? Yeah. Uh, this one. Can I, I can modify it? I, I don't... I can. But I can equip it. Yeah. Oh, we can equip. Sure. Perfect. Do I have anything else that's interesting? What's this? Test subject mask. Oh, it's what I'm wearing. I don't have pants, though. So, that's fine. That is fine. We'll have to find raw hide. Maybe we'll get one from the division thingy that uh, we're gonna kill. Are we gonna manage to kill something today? Because the the vibe just changed in this game. Oh my god, I have to go see what's what's with the flaming bush. <laughs> Hello. Deviated weight. Huh. Interesting. Whoa, that's a lot of copper. I do love uh, to see a lot of resources that I want to gather. <laughs> Can't I? Yes, I can. No pants, but still I can climb over a fence. So where where is that the thingy of fight? Fight here? Creepy, yes. Oh. Is this the big monster? The one taller than the house. We're starting with this one? What's the second monster? Okay. No, I, I got this. It's fine. Defeat Siren. Let me loop, loot. Let, let me loot stuff. So we were... Oh, never mind. Can I use these thingies? Oh, what? No, I cannot use it. Uh, never mind. 
corn. Well, uh, that's not the time. I'll just... Am I dying? Summon the butterfly. It will fight alongside you. Now you'll see what your summon is capable of. Okay. I mean, I, I, I feel the need to focus, man. Okay. Oh, my butterfly is actually helping, right? Are you helping, butterfly? Come on, butterfly. We we can do this. Come on. Oh. Really? I I was getting prepared for a long fight. I didn't even get to dodge. Dodge. I mean, I know it's control to dodge you use control it's kind of not really handy for me it's not something i'm used to use for dodge <laughs> i wanted to practice and that's my complaint but it's fine festering gel i got a slime Ooh. I'm happy about the slime, apparently. But this is not bad. Th this game is not bad, actually. I, I can talk to you. Inform Matsuko of the deviations escape. Oh, so I didn't kill it, it just escaped. Well, it kind of makes sense. Because it would have been kind of lame if it died. Why did it show that it died, though? Damn, it escaped. Wait, did the slime escape? Is that what ex escaped? Not the siren? That was a difficult fight. Just driving it away was enough. And it's all thanks to you, Meta, for saving us. So, it was a difficult fight. Not really. But we drove it away, it's I guess. You look. That's twice now you saved me. Okay. Where did it go? The physical world? Are we not in the physical world? That thing was huge. How did it get in here? I don't think that's the question. Uh, where did it go? Yes. Mitsuko created this rift space. A refuge from the dangers of the physical world. Or so we thought. Oh, okay. So that's the... We are not in the physical world. It sure looks like a physical world. Did you create this world? Do you think that deviation will come back? What if it returns with greater disruptions? We don't know. It's possible. We can't just sit here and wait, though. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? Yeah. It sounds like we have no choice but to go after that thing. Let's go. Are you coming to? To go. There... There is, it seems, no alternative, and I would like to see what this world has become. Yeah, I guess. No, it sounds like we have no choice. <laughs> it's fine. Take the butterfly with you. Put it in your cradle. That way, I can lend you some of my strength. Perfect. Well, Hopefully we'll meet again one day, when the stardust is stable enough. But they made camp here. It looks like this is goodbye. Good luck, Meta. Wait, but I'll come back. I want to come back. Before you go, if you have any questions, I can try and answer them for you. How are you doing? No? Okay, let's see. What questions can we ask? I don't have any more questions. Did Rosetta do experiments on all of us? Yes. What's the starfall you mentioned earlier? What exactly are deviants? I think she answered all of them except the Starfall. So what's Starfall exactly? About 20 years ago, 
Rosetta triggered a major stardust fluctuation during one of their experiments. As a result, some great ones slipped through, entering into our world. What's a great one? They brought increased levels of stardust with them. That poison has seeped into every corner of our world now, spawning countless deviants and other dangers. Huh. Okay. Bye-bye. Good luck, Meta. Bye-bye. Let's see the world. We are way past one hour, I think. Though. Oh, she's sending me directly and I'm dead. Ah, but that's it, guys. This was the game. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. It's just uh, kind of weird. A floaty door. I mean, that's always a good sign, right? <gasps> Fortnite. No. I mean, kind of Fortnite. Full of references, guys. Uh, look at that. Okay. 20 years after Starfall, and the world is still infested with stardust. It looks like the monoliths here have been reactivated, too. They might hold the key to all the stardust pollution. Oh, I can glide. I want. Ah. Okay, so I am gliding. If I press this, I don't glide. It, it's, it is what it is. That's a player's territory. Ooh. Okay. So, the first thing I did, I killed a fawn. The territory terminal forms the basis of your territory and defines the area in which you can build. You are free to construct your home as you see fit within this area, area, and you'll have access to functions such as crafting, planting, disassembly, and more. We need to make a territory. I think these are from the other players, obviously. Huh. Interesting. And everybody has a territory. I think that's my issue. <laughs> you guys, you all have some territory or other. How can I get my own? Hmm. Ripple in space time detected nearby. I think that's also taken as a territory. Um, I do want to find a place I can call my own. Find a suitable location and press B. Oh. Nice there. Work. I've managed to unlock some memetics from Mitsuko. If you access them through your cradle, you'll be able to craft and build what we need. Okay. So I have that. What else do I have? Name this territory is here, guys. Uh, it's uh, the high spot. I mean, I could have gone higher, honestly. Half my territory is on a rock. <laughs> At an angle I cannot build in, but uh, it's fine. Oh, open build menu. Wall. I don't think I have enough. Enough. I don't think I have enough anything. I can't overlaps with existing building structures, okay. I'll just do that then. Like randomly place some walls. I consumed all my logs on building walls. It's a post? Oh, somebody posted. Okay. Well, Bob, it is a good view. That's why I made my uh, territory there. So what's with the posts? I mean, I, I can maybe post. 
Hello, welcome to my house. Well, where is it? I got some logs. Uh, hopefully I can build whatever. I, I do need to read stuff. The game is telling me. Select cradle to enter mimetic cradle. Mimetics. Ciphers available. What the heck is a mimetic? Various kinds of building and item formulas can be learned from mimetic nodes. Click on a node. These are my talents or skills or whatever. Spend ciphers and energy links to unlock this mimetic node. Nice. I have seven. Sure. Play current cipher. Yep. What's a garage? I mean, I know what a garage is, but uh, why, what is it for here? Facility for crafting, maintaining and modifying vehicles. You can have vehicles here? Okay. So I'll get a car after I learn how to make ceilings, apparently. What is this? Mimetic spe specialization. Okay. Never mind. Gather gravel. Gather gravel. Sure. Well, for that I need uh, rocks. This is my house, right? <laughs> my house looks depressing. So what do I need? Open build menu. Supplies for nest. Disassembly. I need copper in ignite in, in, in. You know what I mean. Don't play dumb. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I am notoriously bad at Use organizing. The to refine raw materials into something more practical. We'll need it for advanced items. Okay. Um, furnace, stove, for making busy food. Can I, oh, I need charcoal and metal scraps and I only have like one metal scrap, but the disassembly will help. Supplies, workbench, yes, perfect. There, build a disassembly bench. Okay, so I have to make charcoal in the furnace and copper. Crafting, craft, copper, what do I need? Charcoal, first charcoal, we make the charcoal and we wait for 30 seconds. Oh, this is a lot like Palia's system. So I think this is like a survival with a bit of Palia and a bit of Warframe. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a combination. It's a combo game. I still don't have pants, by the way. <laughs> Why? I need pants. I will not leave this place until I get pants. I have left my territory. Do people get mad if I cut trees from their territory? I, I have good vibes about the game. It, it's nothing wonky, nothing weird, nothing complicated, but still interesting with the... Um, deviants that you can not deviants <laughs> with the deviations that you can have in your backpack i mean you can equip deviations and have them fight for you which is like a skill but not really like a pet companion i don't know enough about them but i assume they have different perks that suit your style of combat and of play I need to eat, drink, enjoy life, drink, drink some more, and then eat. Okay, perfect. Easy solve. So the surviving is not that difficult, actually. You can easily survive. I don't feel the pressure to at least not at this stage, to get food or to gather materials is not that difficult and the progress you make feels kind of swift, but not in a boring way, like, oh, not interesting enough. 
I want to complete the tutorial phase and to see other monsters and you know maybe find a difficult one. <laughs> Just gonna make some calls. Okie dokie, obtain cipher. Oh so why do I obtain cipher? Do I do stuff and obtain cipher? Is that how it works? If you guys remember, cipher is how you unlock things here. Like copper X. Yes, confirm. I want it. I need it. Ammunition. Gear workbench. Right? Go. To go further in the wilderness, you need to craft your own gear to cope with this unpredictable world. See? Perfect. Mm hmm? What do I need? Metal scraps. Oh, uh, for the disassembly one. This one. Um, where can I put it down? Here, like this? No, like this? Nice. Yeah. This is a strong foundation for us to build upon. Okay. I've set up a journey interface to help track our progress. For each task you complete, you'll unlock some supplies we can use. Okay. This game, very nice. Uh, it's actually worth a try if you're into survival games and a bit of action-y stuff. Not too difficult to survive so far, but um, very easy to get used to, used to, very easy to get into. I, I'm already obsessed with getting ciphers and unlocking skills and stuff. I wasn't paying attention to the chat or whatever. Uh, is it possible to change the server and have my old profile? Someone asks. I don't know. There are clearly a lot of mechanics I haven't discovered in this hour or basically two hours. And this is it. This is the video. This is the first hour of once human. No, now we are not human. We are meta-human. We leave little flowers of posts behind from Bob1337. That says XXX Riddle Spot Stunning View. Perfect. We leave a like, like in the real life, and we go away. We have extended our territory. <laughs> Not really. We have extended our house. The territory is halfway up a mountain because I do not think I do things and then I regret them. It's how life goes. In survival games, not a good idea, but I think I'll survive. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a good day. Enjoy games and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.